You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and um, I'm gonna be playing... I'm gonna be going over the games included on the Mega Drive Mini, or the Genesis Mini. And uh, I have the Asian version, so let me start it off with Alien Soldier. I do believe this was a exclusive to the Asian version. And let's see how it goes. So, uh, just to have a disclaimer, I haven't really played this game before. So, um, you'll have to excuse the quality of my gameplay. Anyway, yeah, let's skip the introduction. Uh, super hard or super easy? Okay. Oh, the controller is a bit uh, sensitive. Well, not really a bit. It is very sensitive. I wonder if it's because it's the six button. I wonder if the if the three button controller is similar. Uh, I'll stick with this one. This looks cool. Oh, this also. Weapon select, shot, jump. Okay. Alright, let's see how this goes. So as far as I know, this is a uh, side-scroller from Treasure. Who also brought us... Gunstar Heroes. So it's not quite run and gun because every time I shoot, um, I cannot run or you know I'm stuck in place. So I wonder if uh, yeah. Oh, well, that was bad. Wow, game over. Let's not waste the continue, let's just try again. Okay, maybe I need to change weapon. Hmm. Alright. I doubt my skill would change drastically from that one time. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I set this to super easy, but it's <coughs> not that easy. I just need a lot more practice. Oh, his life bar is really huge. Kind of like uh, those uh, shoot 'em ups. Alright, I'll just try it one more time then. And. Just for fun anyway, let's set it to super hard. And let's see how harder it gets. Oh, 
<clears throat> Most like I really have to get used to having um, challenging games. Oh, the damage is insane. game over in roughly five minutes I think it's telling me something it's telling me to change the game now and try something else all right I'm gonna try the other exclusive here and let's see wait if I could actually remember the title I should set this to there. A to Z. Here it is. Outrun 2019. I uh, actually never heard of this until now. I mean, until this got included in this mini system. Set it to easy for now. Let's see how this one goes. The graphics reminds me of um, that Sega CD game that actually flies. I think it was Night. Was it Night Force or Night Ranger? Something like that. So, yeah, I, I, I guess it's a futuristic um, outrun. Although 2019, we're not quite there yet on this level, that is. Seems okay. I could get used to it. Although, first impression is um, it's no F Zero. As far as uh, futuristic razors go. Whoa. Root split. off something. Road disappeared. Uh, okay, what if I just stay in the middle? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be any obstacle.
Uh, this is uh, not bad, actually. Okay, so that thing jumps, the other one just stops you. Well, I can see myself playing more of this in the future. Well, not to say that um, I won't be playing Alien Soldier again soon. It's actually quite fun. Controls are great, except it's just really tough, so I'll need to spend more time with it just to get used to it. I'm not sure if that's a good time or not. Anyway. Uh, at this point, maybe I'll try to change the game again. Um, let's see. Reset button. Let's try another one. I'm gonna try the one of the exclusives. Well, not really exclusive, but uh, yeah, I think it is an exclusive to the Asian version. Once again, this is Strider, an arcade port of the Capcom side scroller, or should I say Sega port of the arcade game. And uh, let's see. I'll be honest, I haven't played this this uh, Sega Genesis version before. I usually played on the I played the one on the P PS One, which is uh, an arcade port that came with the uh, Strider Two. Yeah, looks like uh, I forgot how to play this game already. I did recall I was able to try the US Gold made a like a sequel to this Strider Strider Returns or something Strider 2 forgot the exact title but I don't think it was made by Capcom Just to give a background, I actually didn't grow up owning a uh, Mega Drive or Genesis. Usually I just played it at like a friend's house or something. And so there's a lot of games that I have never really played until recent years with emulation. Uh, you might actually see some of them. 
some videos of them. And uh, that, that's really about that time that I started playing uh, Sega's 16-bit uh, games. So not really during my childhood. So nope, this doesn't really have that much of a um, uh, nostalgic impact, unlike unlike you know the Nintendo systems, of course. Anyway, all right, let's uh, try one more game. I think one of the games that was uh, so-called exclusive to the um, Asian version was, um, what was it? Was it this one? Monster World 4? Anyway, whether it is or not, let's just go ahead and uh, try it. Release year 2012. Oh, really? I guess that was about the time of the virtual console with the Wii. I don't think this was the other exclusive game. Well, let's try it out nonetheless. So, Monster World 4, once again, I have no. Um, like, uh, childhood fun memory of this game. Although it did say it was released very recently, I guess with the uh, virtual console, I think they're referring to the English version because the... I think that this had the Japanese release years ago. I'm actually having issues with this controller. It's really sensitive. to the action. Come on. Looks like everybody's uh, seeing me off. Let's get to the action, please. This is 
a lot of uh, walking. Oh, finally. I like the music. Monster World 4 in action. as a map or something? How do I even know if you're going the right direction? I mean, I guess the only direction is going to the right, but um, what if I have to go back to that village? Do I have to walk through all these uh, screens again? Well, I guess I couldn't complain given how uh, Metroid or Castlevania have similar setups. Ugh, yeah. Let me try another game. Uh, this time I'll try that uh, new, newly released. Is it Tetris? Nah, let's try something else. I'm sure, we've seen Tetris before. Let's try this one, Adarius, the unreleased game, finally makes its release, 2019. I have played other Darius games. Hmm, Moss Rush mode, interesting. Specifically, the one I enjoyed the most, for an obvious reason, is the one for SNES. Darius Twin. Ugh. And why I like that? Because it has two-player simultaneous play. Of course, I also like the one that came out in the arcade. I know it was uh, like a few years ago because I saw it in a, in a Japanese arcade. The one that has like a huge long screen. Speaking of uh, shoot 'em up games like Darius, let's go ahead and try that other shoot 'em up. This one is a vertical scroller instead. And um, this is easily a like a main reason to get a um, 
Mega Drive Mini to be able to get this game and play this game again. This is... I mean, like I always mentioned earlier, I didn't have much uh, nostalgic uh, connection to a uh, to the Mega Drive, but I would fondly remember trying this game and having a blast with it. If I went, if I wasn't dying, and maybe. If for the music as well. So anyway, I guess some of you might be like waiting for me to try out the Sonic games, but um, I'll have to make you wait for the next time on that one. As I don't know, I guess um, kind of like we already know what to expect with the Sonic games. And I'd like to give a uh, focus on the other titles on the Genesis Mini. So it's not always about Sonic and uh, the Sega games. And that uh, the Genesis had lots of uh, great third-party games. Actually, if you ask me what kind the types of games uh, I enjoy, you'll almost be certain that you should be suggesting the Genesis for me over the uh, Nintendo consoles. Because if you say Nintendo consoles, it's usually for the RPG fans, the SNES at least. And if you like like the arcade games, arcade type at least, the Sega Genesis is the go-to. Of course, I'm not including Neo Geo, as that's <coughs> excuse me on a way another league when it comes to arcade type games.
Now I think I do believe there is also like an Alest title on the SNES. The it's not like a, uh, an Alest. It doesn't have Alest on the title, but uh, they changed it from the Japanese name. I'm trying to remember. I'm not. I think I'm not sure if it was uh, Space Mega Force or Supernova. I can't remember. But this is way better than, well, almost any vertical shooter the SNES has. to go inside. All right. Anyway, um, I think that should be it for today's video. Uh, next time I'm gonna be covering the rest of the titles or I don't know whatever I feel like I guess. And that's it for Alien Soldier, Strider, Monster World for Darius and this one, Musha List. Let's see what I will try next time. And uh, you're watching 8 bit days a week. Please like, comment, subscribe. And thanks for watching. <laughs>